pleases the Lord. Everyone, please bow your head. God, I want to thank you for the clothes on our back, food in our stomachs, and roof over our head. I want to thank you for everything you have done for us to keep us safe. In the name of Jesus, amen. <laughs>
church and praise the Lord. This is your rock report. Today is April 10th, 2022, and I am extending a warm welcome to you, the Little Rock Baptist Church family, and our friends who are worshiping here with us at the rock. And today is Palm Sunday. Happy Senior Citizens Day 
to all of our senior saints. We salute you. And this afternoon, between 2 and 3 p.m., our very own Deacon Woodbury will be here at the church to distribute the palms. Please stop by and receive one. Thank you. Help us spread the gospel by following us on Facebook Live and YouTube, by liking and sharing today's virtual worship experience, and also by taking a selfie. Hashtag Worshiping at the Rock. Join us for Sunday School every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. on Zoom. Contact Dr. Marriott to retrieve the Zoom ID and password, or you may gain access with the information provided on your screen. It's offering time. Thank you so much for your liberal and sacrificial giving during this pandemic. Let us remain consistent by sending in our tithes, offerings, building funds, and online worship support. Continue to use the four ways of giving that are on your screen. Option one, mail your gift to the church address, 375 Bristol Street, Brooklyn, New York, 11212. Option two, contact your deacon or deaconess for pickup. Option three, LRBC giving at gmail.com via Zell and option four dollar sign Little Rock Give via Cash App. Reminder next Sunday, April 17th, is Resurrection Sunday. It is an in person worship service. We ask you, please don't forget to register. The information is listed here on your screen. Well, that's my time. Thank you so much for your gift of attention. This has been your rock report. Now, Let's get back to the sanctuary so we can continue our online virtual worship. Come thou almighty king. Come thou almighty king.
thy name. Come now, Almighty. Help us thy name. Come now. Help us thy name. mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And to the chairman of the deacon board, Deacon Woodbury, and the chairman of the trustees, Deacon Thomas. My scripture today comes from 1st Isaiah 62, verse 11, and Jeremiah 23, verse 5. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thou foundation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. Jeremiah 23 verse 5. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will rise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper, 
and shall execute judgment and the justice in the earth. This day is Palm Sunday, and I would like you to join me as we drop to a heavenly and listen to a heavenly conservation with our Lord and Savior, the Father of all creation, who is our God, and with his Son and the Holy Ghost. We are going to a place somewhere in the third heaven. Sometime in far back, back eternity, a time when only the Holy Spirit would reside. A time they are sitting together on the throne of God. The so Son of God is speaking to his Father. Father, we know there is a price to be paid for the redemption for your mankind. But the cost is too high for them to be able to pay. The father answered saying, there is none who is able to pay the cost of their salvation. Well, father, who is able to pay their debt? Son, the father answers and said, that position is open. The answer from the Son God of God said, Father, I'll go. The Holy Ghost jumps up, saying to the Son, I've got your back. Now, thanks to God, this proclamation of Jesus was not for him, but for you and for me. The announcement of him coming to pay the price for our redemption was the sacrifice that will bring mankind back in right standing with their God. This day, if Palm Sunday, is a day of celebration and remembrance for the Jews. On this day, they had been preparing to leave Egypt. This was the day before Jesus was to be at that place. Jesus came down on earth to give payment for that day. For our judgment due to the contamination and the influence of the devil on Adam and Eve. These two humans were separated from their God and all mankind has the same burden. We saints this day are under that judgment. All mankind is responsible for that debt. Where, where debt redemption would be made possible. Jesus came down here on the earth to pay that debt. Because thou hast done this, according to Genesis 3.14, is what the devil has to pay. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because Thou hast done this, and thou hast cursed above all cattle and above every beast on the field. Upon thy jelly shall thou go, and the dust thou shalt eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thy seed and her seed. The woman, and, and it shall bruise thy head, 
and thou shalt bruise his seal. Today, as we focus our attention on God, on time past, when the members would be expecting to receive a strip of rock of palm. Some of us would be trying to get an extra piece to take to hunt someone to give who did not attend the service. Today, we are now looking back through the eyes of those disciples and through the eyes of the non-believers who had also witnessed this miracle of Jesus. Jesus bringing Lazarus back to life. A man who had laid in the grave for three days. Seeing that man that some doubters have brought back to life. The Jewish leaders now wanted to kill him too. These evil-hearted religious leaders felt threatened because of the many people who sought to follow Jesus. This man of many miracles uh, and the eyes of those who now came with a praise in their heart. And a praise on the lips. But not all those were believers. Some were the non-believers. Some there were still under their influence. Influence of the evil leaders. These leaders who were now afraid. Afraid that they may lose the power over their supporters. Since Jesus came and on the scene. They were expecting a king entering in on a horse. Not expecting a humble figure riding on a donkey. It was said this custom was started under King Judah, a king of Israel. Now some of them were expecting pomp and vigor maybe even a praise behind him, but nothing. I can imagine the silence, no cheering, but noticeably there was much disrespect for this humble figure before them, only disbelief. There was probably loud booing and some asking the question, where is the king? Shouting, I know him. That's the carpenter's son. Some question, why are those people throwing their garments before him? Why the palm? With blinded eyes, others looking for their king. The ones who were seeking to be freed from Roman bondage. They did not see this humble king before them. But those of God's children, those with open eyes saw their savior come in. A praise, a song, singing Hosanna, Hosanna, meaning, oh save, God save. Those jumping, and dancing like David did. A song of praise, singing hallelujah, hallelujah, the reverse universal song of praise. There were those notable saints, saints who knew Old Testament scriptures, going through their pandemic, holding on to their vision of a better life through the spoken word of the prophets Jeremiah and Isaiah who prophesied his forthcoming of the Messiah. This day, that day, the day before 
the day of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who was crucified on the cross for us. That was a conversation we heard. The third heaven in the presence of the Holy Family is a great love, was in that room to our God to be the glory. Amen. We want to invite anyone online who would like to join us here at the Little Rock Baptist Church. We want to know that we welcome you today. And if that is your desire, put your name in the chat and someone in this congregation will get back to you. You can put that at the attention Well, if you have any desire to pray for anyone, we ask you to put their name also on the chat. Thank you very much for your being, joining us today. Now, we will give you a prayer for, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, we come before you right now thanking you for your goodness and thanking you for your mercy. Thank you for looking down on your children all over the four corners of the world. We ask you, Father God, to bless us and we thank you for this day. Should there be anything that I fail to ask in this prayer, I pray that you shall grant it unto us. These, every blessing and petition we ask in Jesus name. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the pre presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty and power and with dominion and power both now and forever. Amen. Bye. See you next time.